Are we all pumped? Spring is here. Are we all pumped? Yeah. 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 It is time. It's show time. You're going to have two contests today. Before we do that, Barbara, can you have the table? He's getting the dignitary one, so I'd like to welcome you all to the contest. Thank you to everyone who showed up, our contestants in particular, the most important people of the day. I'd like to start by asking everyone to turn off your noise making devices, major beeper, or cell phones. Make sure they are off or on vibrate if necessary. Has everyone done that? Yes. Okay, great. Right. I'm going to get the dignitary list in just a moment. In the interest of time, I'm going to run through. Two contests. We're going to start off with the Table Topics Contest, followed by the International Speech Contest. When the Table Topics Contest has concluded, we have a 10 minute break. Trying to get some, get some yummies. After the break, we will conduct the International Speech Contest. Contestants, timers, ballot counters, sergeant rounds have all been briefed prior to the beginning of this contest. Everyone is aware of the Toastmaster International Rule that govern the contest. No one should enter or leave the room during the contestants' presentations. You may do so if time permits during the minute of silence in between the presentations. Thank you. Barbara, should we do the dignitary afterwards or is she running? Look at her go. Let's get Barbara our contest chair. We also have 
1987-88 District Governor Bob Holman. The 
the name of my book is He Survived. I survived many a day. Today, someone decided that they wanted to get to here faster than me. I'm lucky I have a bumper in the front of my van. So guess what? It's all about being survival. The name of the book, I Survived. Topics contestant number two, Paul Lockwood. After your passing, you learn from the angels that a book was written about you. What would be its title and why? <coughs> After your passing, you learn from the angels that a book was written about you. What would be its title and why? Paul Lockwood. <laughs> master. I am the pun master. Honestly, you give me a topic, I will pun on it to the nth degree. I drive people crazy, honestly. I've always thought in the Batman TV series, there's a Riddler, there's a Joker. Why no punner? <laughs> there should be a punster. My license plate says punster one. Because I'm the number one punster. So if you open the door, <laughs> I will be right there if opportunity knocks in the school of hard knocks, I'll be there. You talk about fish. I'll give you a pun for the halibut. <laughs> you talk about birds. I'll be right on the cradle. <laughs> You talk about virtually any topic, I'm right there. It's not easy being green, but darn you, I'm red. And I'm well red. <coughs> Puns show wit. Some people say they're the lowest form of wit, <laughs> but they do show wit. You have to have a certain amount of intelligence to be able to pull off nonstop puns. And I'm not talking about the new movie that just came out, the nonstop movie. No, I'm talking about nonstop, just keep going. Because like the Energizer Bunny, I'm here today and gone tomorrow. <laughs>
John Vitasso. After your passing, you learned from the angels that a book was written about you. What would be its title and why? After your passing, you learned from the angels that a book was written about you. What would be its title and why? John Vitasso. Diane Bolesh. After your passing, you learned from the angels that a book was written about you. What would be its title and why? After your passing, you learned from the angels that a book was written about you. What would be its title and why? Diane Bolesh. Here at Toastmasters, you all fill me 
with your experiences and new ideas and opportunities and possibilities. When I do my professional work, working with children, teaching them to plant and grow their own gardens, it's an opportunity to share the expanding possibilities of the universe. So you have my commitment from this moment forward to always be growing with you and to support your growth. I invite you to share with me and share mine. Eric Hattenhauer, after your passing, you learned from the angels that a book was written about you. What would be its title and why? After your passing, you learned from the angels that a book was written about you. What would be its title and why? Eric Hattenhauer. Siren Powers. After your passing, you learned from the angels that a book was written about you. What would be its title and why? After your passing, you learned from the angels that a book was written about you. What would be its title and why? 
Skylin Powers.
Jennifer? Yes, the ballots have been collected. Ballots have been collected. Thank you for your silence and respect. And I'd like to thank the contest chair of Northwest Division Governor Ray Malacha and most of all the contestants for making the contest happen. Give yourselves a round of applause. Toastmasters, we got this, we got this one. We have a total of 
13 new members. <laughs> Take a 10-minute break and we're going to come back to the International Speech Contest.